Hey everybody, welcome back on the bench today. I've got this tiny little radio, um, which I've been told it's a Stromberg Carlson, and um, there are no markings on it whatsoever. Um, we've just got the two knobs there, there's our tuning, and probably just volume, yep, volume on off. Uh, I can't find anything about it um, on the net. I've looked up Stromberg and um, done various searches on Google and um, hoping for the photo of this to come up, but uh, not to no avail, unfortunately. Anyway, it's in pretty good nick. Um, did I mention 1950s, I think? I think, anyway. Uh, backing boards there. So, I mean, it, it is pretty plain, I guess, you know, but uh, I don't know. I've got a quite like it actually. Let's get the back off. Uh, that one's not doing anything. Get that off. Here we go. Come on. Last one. Here we go. Ah, tiny little thing. So what do we got? Um, 6B something or other. Can't quite read that. That'd probably be a 6M5. And um, a 6M4 as the... Uh, <laughs> as the... Yeah, you know, whatever it is. <laughs> the word escapes me for the moment. Rectifier! Oh, God. All right, how does this come out? Uh, no screws underneath, so I'm just guessing we'll just take the knobs off. Ah, oh, that one's broken, that's okay. Be able to glue that and clamp it together. Alright, so I'm guessing this is just going to pop, yeah, just pop out. And speak wires are going to have to be disattached, uh, dis uh, removed, yep. Yeah. Okay, but what have we got so far? Got a big honking capacitor here. 40 microfarad, okay. Looks all right. Just turn it around and... Okay. Well... Untouched, and <laughs> another capacitor down the bottom there. A little, little board there, and look, hey, yeah, easy, easy peasy. I wonder what that is. Don't know. No schematic, so okay, just have to uh, just run with this and replace it. So I'll get that speaker disattached, um, and um, we'll start looking at it and run some tests. Okay, I um, did a quick test on the speaker and uh, the uh, output transformer. Yep, and they're fine, getting um, noise out of that. So if you, uh, let's just go and monitor the um, main filter cap. And um, I'm just looking to see if it's working, <laughs> of course, and if there are any uh, obvious shorts in it. And also to see if the rectifier is working. So, just bring it up a little bit. Hmm, so far, so good. Current limiter is uh, all quiet. I don't know if it's got a di no no dial globe on this one. Of course not. Here we go. Something's happening. Look, it probably works anyway. I'm at 150 volts. Look at that. Pretty good. Bit higher. Take it up to two hundred. And we got it. No, we do have something I couldn't hear at all. When you vote, your answer matters. Find out more about it on the internet at aet.gov.au wow. or ring one. Wow. Too easy. <laughs> oh, God. 
Hey, like I, like I say, if this was your first radio that you'd attempt in an attempt to uh, restore one, you'd be laughing. Um, all right, okay, I'm just going to recap it. Um, I was hoping for a little bit more, you know, more of a challenge, but uh, no. But uh, I'll do the um, filter caps first, then we'll um, look at the, um, see if we get a, um, we should get an increase in um, in uh, voltage storage inside the caps, I, I would expect. So I'll do that. I've got the replacement caps in, it's <laughs> nice and easy one there, and the one inside it. Um, under the chassis, and um, I found out what the model is, <laughs> and it was uh, inside the case all the, all the time, that little bit of paper there, and it tells me it's a model 48A11, it's from Luke Carlson, yes, and that is 1958, and this model is also known as the Baby Grand, so there we go, but no schematic unfortunately, so... Get this back up. Dollar, just need to. Mm, that should be okay. All right. Let's look at some voltage. Power it up. Might sound a little bit better. Might not. We'll find out. Okay, and up we go. Here we go. Still on a millivolt range, but we're getting up there. I'll give it more power. That's 200 and something volts. Okay. mainstream schools but you know we have for example on the ukrainian background um you're not going to have uh you don't have a cohort not bad where, you know some mainstream school is going to be able to teach um, teach ukrainian so they come into this setting not bad at all and that's just using the uh, ferrite rod as the antenna so uh, it's pretty good all right okay i'm just going to um well, again, not much to do it's a done deal isn't it so um i'm just going to swap out those uh Mustards, why not? After all, 958, whatever that is, so, um, you know, almost 50 years old, I think, 50? <laughs> Sorry, 70 years, not 70, 60 odd years old, whatever it is. Um, so, yeah, best to replace those. I'll do that, we'll come back and wrap the video up. Okay, here's an update on the uh, Stromberg Carlson. So I'm changing all the caps and doing my tests, you know, just testing it after each um, cap change. And I've got this damn crackling. Taker, parents were taken. There was another man we helped get into there the state. Go. He was initially refused entry. He was dying from prostate cancer at the time. He all right. And we wouldn't let him come and spend his last month with his daughter. Now, I did a bit of research on the net, and um, I think this happened on other radios, of course, and um, solutions were, well, check. Check your valves, check your volume pot. Um, hey, leaky caps. Yeah, sure, they're all done. So um, <clears throat> I did swap out all the uh, the valves one at a time. No change. Uh, then I, um, what did I check? I checked the volume pot. I, I took that out of circuit, jump it in another one. No change. So then my mind, apart from the IF cans, which in this case is quite easy to get to, I, sorry about that, <laughs> that pause, um, my mind went to Micah's, and um, I took the first one out of circuit, replaced it, no change, but I found it on the second one, and this is why I've got this uh, jumper here. So, I will, just to show you, jumper in a... Uh, a new 100 um, pickup farad. Let's kill the signal. And where are you? Put you right there. 
And there. Need to be very hard to explain us in normal um, evolution and natural selection. And no more crackling. And is there something about us which makes us able to build nice. the Sydney Opera House and write a uh, great... So, that was the issue. That was the issue. Crackling. And just turned out to be a mica. Nice and easy. And given, you know, I don't really have many problems with micas, but uh, given their age now, um, I suspect um, they're all going to start to um, pretty much uh, fall apart. So, anyway, this wasn't typical what I'm used to with mica disease and the way it distorts the uh, audio on a station. Uh, this was just a cr constant crackling. And um, I have been testing it for about, you know, on and off for a day or so, and uh, definitely, definitely that's the solution there. So I'll get that put in and um, we'll wrap this video up. Here it is, the uh, uh, Stromberg is all done. Rather an odd bud radio for uh, a Stromberg Carlson, but still, uh, again, I like it. Nice sim simplistic little design. Uh, the lack of a dial globe is rather off-putting, just so used to it. But, um, come on, power up. Here it comes. Really what I wanted my characters to have is agency. What would they have cool. done if they... You achieve your financial goals. And at the same time... And it works well for a tiny little radio. So, all cool. Thanks, guys. I hope you found this one slightly interesting. I, I, I quite like the... Um, the bad mica, that was good, I'm glad I found it fairly quickly, um, but there weren't too many in there anyway. Other than that, I'll catch you all again very, very soon, guys. Take care, have fun, stay safe, bye.